today, walhamdulillah, fumma walhamdulillah, fumma walhamdulillah, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thanking Allah for the blessing, walhamdulillah, of this day. I have three things for you, walhamdulillah. I won't even look at my notes, I just look at the clock. Three things, walhamdulillah. I want you to think about first what the significance of the life of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam and his family. The second, walhamdulillah, to talk about the phenomenon of Hajj al Bayt, the fifth pillar of Islam. The third, to talk about Eid as we experience it here and around the world. The subhanallah, we as an ummah, we should be so excited and happy today, even though to the average person it's just Thursday, it's just another day for them. But for us, alhamdulillah, we have the benefit of the family of Ibrahim. Three things from the family of Ibrahim I want you to think about. The first, alhamdulillah, is Imanatullah. The second is love for Allah. The third is trust in Allah. The first, alhamdulillah, is to have Iman, to have a connection with Allah. To the degree that Ibrahim Hanifa alayhi salam, he was Khalil Allah. He was the friend of Allah. You like to have a relationship of Iman where Allah is calls you his friend, subhanAllah. When you have a friendship like that, then you have a love for your friend. And you rely on them that they'll come through for you in every situation. That's what friends are for. Am I right? Not the Facebook friend, Akhi, the real friend. Wallahi, look at the life of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. As a youth, he was thrown in the fire. Now maybe if he didn't have a relationship with Allah and he didn't have a relationship where he know Allah loves him and he loves Allah. This is the real reality. So he knows when they put him in the fire, Allah has something for him. He's not worried. A lot of us, I'm telling you, your friend, they invite you like they invited Ibrahim, come to our hangout. You know the, the, what I'm talking about? Right? They invited Ibrahim alayhi salam to come to their idol fest. Ibrahim said, no, alayhi salam, I'm not going because I'm sick. Right? When your friend call you and let, we have in the going, this hangout to the hookah bar or wherever we're going, Say, man, I'm, I'm like Ibrahim, man, I'm sick. You're not physically sick, I'm sick of you guys. I'm sick of all the stupidness that you're doing, I'm sick. Alhamdulillah, they say, oh, you sick of us? Okay. We're going to throw you in the fire. There are many of us, we're afraid of the fire. We're afraid of the fire that they have for us. Maybe you want to get a job, but because you say, I want to be, I need to be off on the day of Eid. I don't want to say anything because I might not get the job. Oh, so now when they find out, oh, so-and-so, they're a Muslim, don't give them the job. Oh, that guy, he won't hang out at the club with us. That girl's not going to give me no plan. No, I'm, mm -mm. she's not going to take that hijab off. I don't want to be her friend. We're going to talk about her on, on Instagram. That's what they do. They try to throw you in the fire. I got news for you. If you have a relationship with Allah and you have to seek it, you got to want it. And if you get it, alhamdulillah, you start loving Allah, Allah will make the fire cool for you. Alhamdulillah, 30 years ago, Allah made Islam cool in America. Wallahi, I was on the college campus. The brother said to me, hey man, you want to come to this party? I said, nah man, I'm a Muslim. They said, wow, that's heavy man, you a Muslim, you a Muslim? I said, yeah, I'm a Muslim now. They said, that's cool man. 
where it used to be that you think people throw you in the fire, I'm telling you. You're really practicing Islam? It's going to be cool for you. I can prove it to you. They had this guy running for president of the United States, Uncle Ben Carson. I call him uncle because he's older than me. Uncle Ben says that a Muslim shouldn't be able to be president, right? Yeah, that's what he said. But he didn't know that he was saying that the same week that six million people are on their way to make pilgrimage in Mecca. Everybody now talking about Mecca. Everybody's talking about can Muslims be president of the United States? Yuriduna and Yutfi Nur Allah BFYM. They tried to put out the light of Allah with their mouths. Yutimu Nur. Allah gonna increase his light. Lokari al Kafirun. By the way, Uncle Ben and Donald Duck, both of them have made it now cool to be Muslim. Everybody looking, what is Islam? What is Muslim? What is deen of Islam? You say, well, alhamdulillah, it is to have one, a man of Allah, to have a relationship with Allah. Two, that I love Allah. And three, I put my reliance, my trust in Allah. It's about faith, it's about trust. The Hajjah, she has a relationship with Allah. Allah tells Ibrahim, leave your wife and your baby in the desert. The wife says, well, subhanAllah, I have a relationship with Allah. If this is what Allah wants you to do, I love it. And Allah will take care of me. She's not thinking she's going to die. Ismail, everybody's talking about on Hajj. Oh, that they're going to sacrifice uh, your, your, your son. You say, well, get it. guess what? If I were in the family of Ibrahim, I would know. When I was young, Allah made the fire cool for me. When Ibrahim left me in this desert with nothing, Allah provided the well of Zemzem for me. It will flow until the day of judgment. I am not worried if I'm Ismail. What's going to happen to me? I know without a doubt Allah is going to do something amazing for me and my family. And so I'm saying to you as we look at the, the family of Ibrahim, may Allah bless Muhammad and the followers of Muhammad as he blessed Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihim Sayyidina Muhammad. كما سليت إبراهيم وعلى علي سيدنا إبراهيم كل قال هذا استغفر الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم according to my clock I have four more minutes but I'm going to keep to my time والله the three things حج is left and the day of Eid which we sacrifice Alhamdulillah, if you think about this, I want all of our young people to hear me well today, the day of Eid is following the largest migration of human beings every year to worship Allah. The only other migration that is as large as Hajj, in China, they have a national holiday and people travel go, to go back to their countryside. Or inside India, they have a millions of people, they go inside India, but this is the largest international movement of human beings in human history. It's going on right now, and you are a part of it. Every year, we ask Allah's mercy on those who risk their lives to make this journey. May Allah grant them the reward of the best in this life and the best in the hereafter. Now, I, I did an interview while I was late this morning. I did an interview with NPR. They were asking about Hajj, National Public Radio. 
They said, well, Imam, if people risk their lives to go for Hajj, why, why do they go? I said, well, you know, maybe there are a lot of Christians listening, maybe they understand this. Because I grew up a Christian. In Matthew it says, in order for you to enter into paradise, you must be born again. I said, yeah, that's so that's why we go for Hajj. Right? Because Hajj is an opportunity to be born again. They said in this old in the New Testament, these old words, Alhamdulillah, they have been making Hajj forever, even before the time of Rasulullah. They said, if you perform Hajj, Hajj Mabrur, it's acceptable Hajj. You leave like you were from your mother's womb. And Matthew, they said, can I enter to my mother's womb and be born again? He said, no, you have to be born again by making Hajj to Makkah. Alhamdulillah, then Allah will wipe away your sins. There are people on Hajj now, they are making dua, not for themselves only, but making dua for us and this Ummah. We ask Allah to accept their dua and their hajj, alhamdulillah. The last part is us here. I want you to know, alhamdulillah, we are now celebrating, and I want you to tell your neighbor, global thanksgiving. Global thanksgiving. They said, what do you mean global thanksgiving? They said, yes, our people who are on hajj, each one of them, they have to sacrifice and give to the poor. So every family, alhamdulillah, they will have something on the day of Eid from our sacrifice. Alhamdulillah, if you are in Mecca, there's 6, 000, 6 million people, each one of them sacrifice, they, they cannot eat it. All of it goes to the needy and the poor. The airplane is leaving, going to Malaysia, going to Indonesia, going to Mali, going to Senegal, going to everywhere to feed the hungry of our planet. Today, tell them, today is global Thanksgiving. The pilgrims that you're thinking about in November, they're eating the turkey. Our pilgrims are sending the lamb, the sheep, the cow and the camel to feed the multitude around the world. Those of you who participated in our Udhiyah program, tell your children, I, I paid for this and one third we will keep it and the rest is going to the poor and the needy in our community. One out of five children in this county goes to bed hungry. But today, alhamdulillah, from our Udhiyah, many of them will be fed. Today, alhamdulillah, I want to tell you, if you want to have power, like Ibrahim Hanifa, take those three things. Build your relationship with Allah. It will make you fearless. Increase your love for Allah. And we will be reciting the talbiyah after salah, this adhqar for the next few days. Increase your love for Allah. And third, put your trust and reliance in Allah. That Allah will turn your catastrophe into success, your tragedies into triumphs, your obstacles into opportunities. If, alhamdulillah, you put your full reliance and trust on Allah as Allah's Messenger, وسلم, Ibrahim put his trust in Allah and Muhammad وسلم, put his trust in Allah. If we put our trust in Allah, Allah will correct our affairs, set them aright, and give us power that we might spread the love of Allah throughout our communities, our nation, and our world. May Allah bless you and congratulate you all as part of the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallam. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Don't forget this Saturday we have um, 
um, fun day in the masjid. Saturday, right? Saturday, 12 o'clock. Nice beach. Have fun. Don't go to work. Also support the masjid. Don't go to work. Support. Donate generously to support your masjid so we can have a good fun day on Saturday. We're going to give you the email. My email? Uh, because I want somebody. Inshallah, from the Eid Mubarak. By the way, I have a microphone on. Don't say anything like Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Oh, look at that wonderful henna. Allah Akbar. Eid Mubarak. How are you, son? You're good? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Selfie. Quick, quick, quick selfie. Yeah. Takbir. Eid Mubarak. Eid Kareem. Yeah. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Eid Mubarak. Allah.